你好 ，Welcome to Ask Andy to learn Mandarin Chinese. In this video, our topic is WH questions in Chinese. Oh one, I'm going to answer three questions. Question number one: How do you say what, which, where, who, whose, when, what time, and why in Chinese? These are W question words. So I'm going to teach you that in this video. Question number two: How to ask a WH question? Why did I highlight "ask"? Because it's different from that in English. Question number three: How to answer a WH question? I'm going to share with you my tips and tricks to do that in this video. Let's get started. Got a question in your Chinese learning? Ask Andy. How to find my channel and subscribe? Search "Ask Andy" on YouTube, and you can find the channel on the top. If you're new to the channel, thank you for coming by to check out my videos. Please click the red button to subscribe so you don't miss out on future videos. Question number one: W question words in Chinese. Let's see them one by one. Number one: What? What in Chinese is 什么？什么 ？Number two: Which? 哪？哪 ？Remember, this is the third tone. Well, 哪？哪 ？Number three: Where? So for where I made it with the two. One is 哪里，哪里。The other one is 哪儿，哪儿。So 哪里 you are going to hear it in the southern part of China. 哪儿 you are going to hear it in the northern part of China. Let's move on. Number four, who. It also goes with the two. You are going to see version one is 谁，谁。Version two is 谁。Shui, which do I recommend? I recommend you with a shui. Why? Point one is it's easier for you to pronounce shui, shui. Point two is shui sounds like shui water. If you pronounce it with a wrong tone, people may not understand you. Number five, whose? That will be shui de, shui de, or shui de, shui de. I recommend you with shade, but for listening, you need to understand both. Number six, when, 什么时候，什么时候 Number seven, what time? That is, 几点，几点 Number eight, why, 为什么，为什么 That's all for W question words in Chinese. Okay, we have done question number one. How do you say W question words in Chinese? Let's move on to question number two. How to ask a W H question? Okay, let's start with what. 什么 A common question is, what do you want? How do you ask that question? Does it work for you to ask in the English way, like 什么你要 So you do a literal translation. Does it work? I'm sorry to say, it's wrong. It doesn't work. Because the word order in Chinese WH questions is different from that in English. So how do you ask a WH question? I need to mention this important pattern again: subject, verb, object. In Chinese WH questions, the word order doesn't change, which means you need to follow subject, verb, object again, like you are making a simple statement. So here you can see ni is the subject, verb is want, and do we don't have that. What is the object? So in your mind, you need to think like you are speaking Chinglish. So that will be, you want what, and then do a literal translation in that way. What you get will be, 你要什么？你要什么？ So we need to follow this pattern: subject, verb, object, to ask a WH question in Chinese. It doesn't work with the English word order. Let's see another example. So, what color do you like? In your mind, you need to change the word order like in Chinglish. It will be subject, verb, object. That will be, you like what color? And then translate it. Do them like a literal translation in this way. That will be, 你喜欢什么颜色
。你喜欢什么颜色 ？That's it. So number two, which that will be 哪哪 It's a common question. Which apple do you want? So in your mind, you need to do that again. So a subject, verb, object that will be you want which apple? 你要哪个苹果？你要哪个苹果 ？I made 个 in red because 个 you can see we don't have that in English. It's a measure word for 苹果 To learn more about measure words in Chinese, you can check the video here. Let's move on. Which one do you want? So you need to make it into you like which one. That is. 你喜欢哪一个？你喜欢哪一个 ？Let's move on. Where is the bathroom? Where is 哪里 or 哪儿 ？Personally, I prefer 哪里 So same word order: subject, verb, object. But here is at. We take it a sort of a verb in Chinese. When you are asking a question with where, you need to use this 在 So The word order becomes bathroom is at where. That will be 卫生间在哪里？卫生间在哪里 ？Let's move on. Where is your cell phone? So the same thing. That will be subject, verb, object. That will be your cell phone is at where? That is 你的手机在哪里？你的。手机在哪里 ？Number four, who, 谁 or 谁 I recommend you to use 谁 Who is he? So you need to make it into he is who. Then the question becomes 他是谁？他是谁 ？Who is your boss? Make it into your boss is who. That will be, 你的老板是谁？你的老板是谁 ？Whose? That will be 谁的 or 谁的 I recommend you to use 谁的 This is a common question. Whose computer is that? Make it into that computer is whose. 那个电脑是谁的？那个。电脑是谁的 ？The same thing. The 个 here is the measure word for 电脑 Whose book is this? So it will be this book is whose in Chinese. That will be 这本书是谁的？这本书是谁的 ？So this 本 is the measure word for book in Chinese. Number six. When? 什么时候 ？So this is a common question. When do you have free time? Here is a bit more complicated because we have time. So the time we are going to have it in a pattern like subject, time, verb, object. I'm going to make another video to talk about a more complicated word order in Chinese later. So for now, you just remember the pattern for time in Chinese, sort of when. We are going to make it in between the subject and the verb. So the pattern is subject, time, verb, object. So it becomes you when have free time. So that will be 你什么时候有空？你什么时候有空 ？You can see the R in brackets. It's optional. In the northern part of China, you are going to hear it. In the southern part of China, you can go without it. When do you go to Shanghai? So the same pattern: subject, time, verb, object. So it becomes you when go to Shanghai. That will be 你什么时候去上海？你什么时候去上海 ？That's it. Number seven. What time? 几点？几点 ？So what time is it? So in Chinese we start with the subject again, but we have a now here. So literally in Chinese it is now is what time, but this is you may not hear it. So it should be 现在是几点
现在是几点 ？But you can barely hear it. It becomes 现在几点？现在几点 ？What time do you have class? Same pattern. You what time have class? 你几点上课？你几点上课 ？That's it. Why? 为什么？为什么 ？For this one, it's a bit different. So we have the pattern like subject plus adverbial plus verb plus object. So it becomes you why learn Chinese. Actually, you can also make it like why you learn Chinese. But the standardized one will be this pattern. That will be 你为什么学习中文？你为什么学习中文？ So I made that 习 in brackets. It's optional. You can just say 学中文 That becomes 你为什么学中文？你为什么学中文 ？This is the one you are going to hear more because people want to save their energy. So the last question: Why is she unhappy? That would be another pattern. That would be subject plus adverbial plus 不 plus adjective. It becomes she why is not happy. That would be 她为什么不高兴？她为什么不高兴 ？Let's move on. Okay, we have done question number one and question number two. Let's move on to question number three. How to answer a WH question? So how to answer a WH question? Actually, it is easy if you know my trick. My trick for you is quote and replace the question word with the new information. What does that mean? Let's see the examples. The same question. 你要什么 How to answer that question? Quote and replace the question word with the new information. A possible answer is 我要一杯咖啡 So quote. Means the word order stays the same, so you make you into I for sure for all those questions you are going to do in that way. You need to make you into I, and then yeah, just follow the same word order and replace the question word 什么 with new information. 一杯咖啡 That's it. Quote and replace the question word with new information. Let's see another example. 你喜欢什么颜色 Quote and replace the question word with new information. 我喜欢蓝色。我喜欢蓝色。You see, it's easy. Let's move on. 你要哪个苹果 ？The answer can be 我要那个大的。我要那个大的。I want that big one. And then. 你喜欢哪一个 ？A possible answer is 我喜欢这一个。我喜欢这一个。Quote and replace the question word with the new information. For this question, 卫生间在哪里 ？A possible answer: 卫生间在二楼。卫生间在二楼。Why did I make that answer? Because in China, you are going to find lots of bathrooms are on the second floor in some shopping malls or some other buildings. Let's move on. 你的手机在哪里？你的手机在哪里 ？A possible answer is: 我的手机在家。我的手机在家。Quote and replace. So for this question, 他是谁？他是谁 ？A possible answer is: 他是我的朋友。他是我的朋友。Same word order. Quote and replace. 你的老板是谁？你的老板是谁 ？My answer is: 我的老板是我的太太。我的老板是我的太太。So I made the in brackets because me and my wife that will be between family members. That is about close relationships. For close relationships, we are going to omit the the. But as a beginner, I recommend you to keep that the when you are speaking 
But for listening, you need to understand. Sometimes you couldn't hear the d between family members. So my wife, you may hear it as 我太太 So the answer would be 我的老板是我太太我的老板是我太太 Let's move on. 那个电脑是谁的 A possible answer is 那个电脑是马克的那个电脑是马克的 That computer is Mark's. For this one, 这本书是谁的 A possible answer is 这本书是我的这本书是我的 Remember in Chinese, 我的 can be my or mine. For this question, 你什么时候有空 A possible answer is 我明天有空我明天有空 No matter what the pattern is, you just need to remember quote and replace the question word with the new information. You follow the same word order from a question to an answer. 你什么时候去上海 A possible answer is 我秋天去上海我秋天去上海 Same word order. Quote and replace the question word with the new information. Why do I go to Shanghai in autumn? Because it is the best season to visit Shanghai. 现在是几点 Probably you are going to hear. 现在几点 A possible answer is. 现在六点钟现在六点钟 So. It's we are going to omit it because we omit the shirt there. So 六点钟 is six o'clock. A funny thing is in English we have a clock. In Chinese we have 钟 which means clock. What a coincidence! <laughs> Let's move on. For this question, 你几点上课 A possible answer is 我三点上课我三点上课 No matter what the pattern is in the question, when you answer it, just quote and replace the question word with the new information. Let's move on. Why? 为什么 For the question with why in Chinese is a bit different from those ones above. Let's see. 你为什么学习中文 To answer that question, you must start with because in Chinese is 因为 And then this part would be another sentence, a new SVO. A possible answer is 因为中文很有用因为中文很有用 Because Chinese is very useful. I made that very in brackets. Why? To know more about very 很 in Chinese. Check out this video. Let's move on. 他为什么不高兴 You need to answer the question with 因为 because a possible answer is 因为天气不好因为天气不好 because the weather is not good. Okay, that's all for today. Hope you find my video useful for you. If you like my video, please put your thumb up below the video. Please remember to click the red button to subscribe to my channel and hit the bell so that you can be the first one to see my latest videos. This is a Q and A channel. If you have any questions in your Chinese learning, please just leave a comment below. I will find time to answer your question as soon as possible. Thank you for watching. 再见。